Minecraft, the beloved sandbox game, is taking a giant leap from the digital world to the silver screen. The highly anticipated Minecraft movie has the potential to be a massive blockbuster. Millions of fans worldwide eagerly await its release. The movie's success could have significant implications for the film industry. It may pave the way for more video game adaptations. The stakes are high for Minecraft to deliver a cinematic experience. It needs to capture the essence of the beloved game. The movie needs to resonate with longtime fans. It also needs to captivate newcomers to the world of Minecraft. The pressure is on for the filmmakers to strike a delicate balance. They must stay true to the source material while crafting a compelling narrative. The release of the first Minecraft movie trailer sent shockwaves through the internet. Fans and critics alike flocked to catch a glimpse of the blocky world brought to life. The trailer showcased a mix of live action and CGI animation. This created a unique visual style that polarised viewers. Initial reactions to the trailer were mixed, with many expressing surprise and confusion. The trailer's tone and direction remain unclear. Some fans praised the attempt to capture the game's essence. Others criticised the visual choices and what appeared to be a departure from the source material. The trailer sparked widespread discussion and debate online. This further fueled anticipation and speculation surrounding the film's release. The Minecraft movie attempts to blend live-action actors with a CGI animated world. This stylistic choice has been a significant point of contention among viewers. The trailer reveals a world that attempts to replicate the blocky aesthetic of the game. However, it incorporates real-life actors into the mix. This creates a jarring contrast that some find off-putting. The casting choices have also sparked debate, particularly the decision to cast Jason Momoa as Steve. Momoa, known for his rugged roles in Aquaman and Game of Thrones, seems like an unusual fit for the traditionally undefined protagonist. The trailer offers glimpses of his performance. It remains to be seen how he will embody the spirit of Minecraft's iconic character. The Minecraft movie enters a cinematic landscape littered with the wreckage of past video game adaptations. Movies based on games like Super Mario Bros. and Assassin's Creed have historically struggled to capture the magic of their source material. They often fall victim to poor writing, miscasting, and a fundamental misunderstanding of what makes the games so appealing. However, there have been recent glimmers of hope in the genre. Detective Pikachu and Sonic the Hedgehog achieved commercial success. They managed to please fans and general audiences alike. These films demonstrated that with careful attention to the source material and a willingness to embrace the spirit of the games, video game adaptations can succeed. The Minecraft movie will need to learn from both the successes and failures of its predecessors. Only time will tell if it can break the curse of the video game movie. Section 5. A Divisive Reception Unpacking the Horrifying Label The Minecraft movie trailer's reception has been anything but unanimous. While some fans expressed cautious optimism, others were less forgiving. The word horrifying has been used by some to describe their reaction. This strong negative sentiment stems from a complex interplay of factors. For some, the dissonance between the blocky, pixelated world of Minecraft and the realism of the live-action elements is jarring and unsettling. The CGI, while impressive in its recreation of the game's aesthetic, takes on an almost uncanny valley quality when juxtaposed with human actors. This clash of styles creates a sense of unease that contributes to the perception of the trailer as horrifying. 
Section 6. Jason Momoa as Steve. Questionable casting decisions. Jason Momoa's casting as Steve, the game's protagonist, has been met with particular scrutiny. Momoa, known for his action hero physique and commanding presence, seems at odds with the traditionally blank slate nature of Steve. In the Minecraft game, players can project their own personalities onto the character, something that Momoa's established persona might hinder. This casting choice raises questions about the film's interpretation of the source material. Is the movie aiming for a faithful adaptation, or is it taking creative liberties that might alienate purist fans? The success of Momoa's performance will likely hinge on his ability to capture the spirit of Minecraft while making the role his own. Section 7. The Curse of the Video Game Movie. Can Minecraft Break the Mold? The Minecraft movie faces an uphill battle against the notorious video game movie curse. History is littered with failed attempts to translate the interactive experiences of video games into compelling cinematic narratives. Often, these adaptations suffer from poor writing, misunderstandings of the source material, and a desire to please everyone. However, recent successes like Detective Pikachu and Sonic the Hedgehog have shown that it is possible to break this curse. These films succeeded by understanding what made the game special and by crafting stories that resonated with both fans and newcomers. The Minecraft movie has the potential to follow in their footsteps, but it remains to be seen if it can overcome the challenges that have plagued its predecessors. Section 8. Box Office Prospects. Will negative buzz derail the hype train? Despite the mixed reactions to the trailer, the Minecraft movie is still poised to be a box office success. The brand recognition alone is enough to draw in massive crowds. Children who grew up playing the game are now old enough to head to theatres. Parents, eager to share a cultural touchstone with their kids, are likely to contribute to ticket sales. However, negative word of mouth can be a powerful force. If the final product fails to live up to the hype, or if it alienates the core fan base, the film's long-term success could be jeopardized. The filmmakers will need to work hard to address the concerns raised by the trailer and deliver a movie that resonates with both fans and general audiences. Section 9. The future of game-based films. A new era or a cautionary tale. The success or failure of the Minecraft movie has the potential to shape the future of game-based films. A box office hit could usher in a new era of video game adaptations, encouraging studios to invest in more ambitious and faithful adaptations. Conversely, a critical and commercial flop could make studios wary of taking risks on video game properties, reinforcing the perception that these adaptations are doomed to fail. The Minecraft movie stands at a crossroads, and its performance could have far-reaching consequences for the future of gaming and cinema. Section 10. Conclusion a blocky gamble with uncertain outcomes. The Minecraft movie is a gamble, a high-stakes bet on the enduring appeal of one of the most popular video games of all time. The trailer has generated a wave of discussion, with some embracing its unique visual style and others expressing disappointment and even horror. Only time will tell if the film can overcome the challenges of adapting such a beloved